Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. So I had a horrible experience last weekend, and the sewer drain backed up into my basement and into the craft room, part of the craft room. And of course, Greg was out of town, so I had to clean that up, and it was a disaster. And thank God my dad came and helped. But that situation inspired today's coaster. And it's not a poop coaster, don't worry. I'm working on some wax paper and I just grabbed some toilet paper. And I also have some food color, and this is the neon food color. You could go basic primary colors as well, but I thought neon might be fun. So what I'm gonna do first is just rip some pieces. And this is no doubt more toilet paper than I'll need. And I'm not going for any kind of size, shape, or anything other than maybe not too big and not too squared off, like at the end of where the toilet paper was. Okay, I think this should be plenty, and I'm just going to put them in four sections because I have four colors. And I have purple, green, pink, and blue, and they're neon colors. So we'll move that one over here. We'll put some over here. Now I'm just going to take the food color, drip it onto the toilet paper, and just let it set in. So this comes out pretty dark, so I'm going to take a paintbrush that has a little bit of water on it, and then I'm going to just let it spread to the edges. And I can just actually keep taking it and patting it on here. So really I'm just painting on toilet paper with food coloring. So now I'm going to do the green, and instead of dripping it on there like I did with the purple, I'm going to actually drip it into the water. So with the water, it comes out very light and pale, and it's pretty, but I kind of want a little bit more. So I just put a drip of food color on the wax paper, and I dip my brush into it so I can get some bolder colors as well. And you can decide where you want the bolder colors to be. Could be on the edges, could be in the middle, could be a mix. Kind of has a tie-dye effect to it. Now I'm just taking a paper towel and pulling some of the color off of the purple because it's it's too bold, but now it looks pretty nice. So you can do it either way and it comes out pretty cool. All right, now we have the blue. And I'll just do the same thing. And now I have the pink, which looks more red to me than pink. So we'll cure that with extra water. So that was as far as I was going to go with it. But now looking at it, I'm seeing a big potential for blending. And I think that would be pretty fun. So we are going to do a second coaster. For this one, I've ripped six pieces of larger toilet paper because I want the opportunity to blend. And I didn't want that on such a small scale. So. I have also added two drops of the food color to each of these and now we're just going to start playing with it and see how they blend. Look, even my paper towel looks pretty. Now we're going to let these dry as well, and then we will put everything into the coaster once they're dry. 
I pulled the first pieces off of the wax paper. They came off easy. I just put them on a little paper towel in case there was any little bit of drying that was left to do. And it doesn't seem to be attaching itself or anything. So that's good. And they dry pretty quick. And here are the larger pieces. I'm going to peel those off too. They should be about ready. They're not completely dry, but I think it'll take forever for it to dry on the wax paper. So that's why I'm putting it on here. Now, as you can see, when they're drying, some of them, not all of them, um, some of the white is showing through, and I'm okay with that. And sometimes, depending, I guess, on if you're using one ply or two ply, sometimes the plies can separate. So you just want to be aware of that as you're pulling it off. Um, this happens to be two ply. The toilet paper has dried and is definitely lighter than how it was before. And here are the larger pieces. They have dried as well, so some of them are a little bit more pastel -y. It'll be interesting to see how they look when we put it in the resin, because I suspect they might get a little bit darker, but we'll find out. I've mixed about three ounces of resin, and I'm going to put in just enough to cover the bottom of two of these cavities. I have my lighter and I am going to pop the bubbles and I'm going to start adding some pieces in and I'm going to take my stir stick, press it down. See they've definitely changed color already. So it'll be interesting to see how it, they end up looking once everything is cured. They become a little bit transparent, so you can see the other color through once you press it down in there. So you can overlap, don't overlap, whatever you think you might want to do. And you can rip up and add little pieces here and there wherever you want, if you want. Okay, now I'm going to put the big pieces over here. Let's see how they look when they start sinking in there. I'm going to pour a little bit more on each of these. Now I'm going to take my lighter again and pop the bubbles. Now I went about an ounce and a half each. I would recommend two ounces each just to make sure it gives you enough. So I might add a little bit more on top of these. I've mixed two more ounces of resin. I'm going to pour that right over both of these just to make sure everything is nice and flat on top. Now I've got my lighter again and I'm going to pop these bubbles. I'll come back a couple more times and then we'll come back and unmold them. Everything's cured so we can pull our coasters out. They looked pretty pale in the mold, but here they are now. They're pretty vibrant, especially this one. This is the one where we blended and added more water. Look how pretty they are. It's almost like tie-dye with toilet paper. Here are the backs, here are the fronts. I like how when I layered it, you can still see the color underneath. Like this actually looks orange, even though that was a lime green, it almost looks more yellow. But with the pink over it, it has an orange look to it and the pink over the blue, it has more of a purple look to it. So I definitely like this one better, but I do like this one too. Be sure to let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. So I hope you guys like the toilet paper coaster. And I hope you give it a try or just try to think outside the box of different things that you could put in resin that, you know, people might not know what it is. And it, and it just gives different textures, different colors. Just experiment with it. So thanks guys so much for being here. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys.